Hi Hermes lovers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya and I also love Hermes and high quality brands. And in this video we will be talking about Laura Piana, specifically Laura Piana shoes. I will tell you why I love them, why I have them in every color, where to buy them and just tell you about my experience with the brand. So let's get into it. This was my very first Laura Piana summer charm shoe. I got it way back in the day before it became too popular and I got them because my husband loves Laura Piana. We go to Laura Piana stores quite often so I saw them and I like them because they have this orthopedic sole and I wanted to try them. They looked comfortable so I got them and I fell in love with the shoe just because of how comfortable it was. I wore this shoe so much. We went to Europe. I was walking so many miles and so many kilometers every day in these shoes. These are the second most comfortable shoes that I own after like running sneakers, you know, like those like super light Adidas. Yeah, like I compare them to this just because it's not the lightest shoe but it is so comfortable like you can kind of see that the sole is like brown and yellow but it's still holding up pretty well. So yeah I had an amazing first experience with Laura Piana shoes and again that was like back in I want to say like oh 2017 2018 maybe absolutely loved the shoe and funny enough i remember the price of this shoe and it was like something like 450 euros which is now it's insane it's more than double in what like five years anyways I had an amazing first time experience with Laura Pianas, so of course I got my second Laura Piana summer charm. Yeah, this was actually my second shoe and again, this was not a gimmick, they were so comfortable and I wore the shoes so 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 much as well. Then after a while it starts looking like an addiction. Then these are as you can see probably my most worn Laura Pianas. They look pretty beat up. They have survived multiple trips to Europe so it's a very well worn shoe and I mean honestly like I don't think it looks that bad and I would definitely recommend this color. This color is called Caviar. I'm going to link all of these shoes below so if you wanted to buy them you can get them but I found that this color was so versatile that I wore it a lot. Now I will say something about Laura Piana sizing. So the sizes actually run a little bit big meaning I am 37 and a half. Usually in most brands like I am 37 and a half in Oran sandals and in Laura Piana I have to do half a size down. So this is actually a 37 because they stretch. So when you actually buy them go half a size down and like to feel them kind of snug on your foot. These ones are brand new and they are... I just realized that almost all of the summer charms have a serial number. Can you believe that? I never knew. How crazy. Yeah, all of them have a serial number. Anyways, I definitely recommend going half a size down from your normal size. You kind of want them like a little bit tight around your foot at the beginning because they will stretch. Now I got this beautiful color sandstone. I really wanted to get it in Europe just because it's now a little bit cheaper. I think the price in Europe is like around 900 or 950 euros, something like that. But I went to like so many different Laura Piana stores and I could not find these shoes. Like summer charms in Europe are sold out. So I got this at a US price. And not only that, all of my European followers on Instagram ordered these from the US, which I know seems counterintuitive, but they told me it was cheaper to order them from the US, ship to Europe, than getting them through a reseller or like, you know, like one of these like personal shoppers, because apparently the markup on this is very high. Now I am super excited about the color sandstone because it comes with gold charms. These come with silver and I think caviar actually comes almost like champagne because it's not gold but it's not palladium. If you see like these two are a little bit different and the sizing saga in Laura Piana continues. I am very hopeful that this video will be useful to you in terms of the sizes so you 
you don't make the same mistakes I did because I was actually able to get this shoe when I was in Europe. Now, this is a two-tone summer charm walk. It is a little bit different than other summer charms. This runs actually small, so in this one you have to go true to size. So in this one I am 37 and a half, but at first I thought that Laura Piana changed their sizing, but I just got this one and this one is normal sizing, 37, and this is 37 and a half. So I do confirm that if you are getting contrast piping which I think looks really cool and a little bit different definitely go with your true size so in my case it is 37 and a half now let's talk about creme de la creme of Laura Piana I don't know if they make this anymore or if you can buy them but these actually have fur and these used to retail for like over three thousand dollars or something close to three thousand dollars now they have like a cheaper version with shirling well cheaper i mean less expensive it's still more than like fifteen hundred dollars but shirling is a little bit less expensive i think this is like beaver fur or something like that and i was too cheap to buy them for myself my husband ended up buying them for me and with these shoes i also recommend getting your true size so in my case 37 and a half these are so comfortable it's like walking on a cloud if you can get your hands on one of these pairs let me know and I will also share a link on my Instagram because I know that people have been after these shoes but they're not available anywhere they're not available at the stores they're not available online so I don't know if they discontinued it but it's definitely very hard to get so I'm actually happy that my husband got it for me because was it's impossible to find now so overall I do recommend them even though the price tag is a little bit steep it's I think in the US it's over a thousand dollars now plus obviously tax so the price is a little bit steep but I do think that it is worth it now obviously LVMH owns Laura Piana so I am not sure how the quality is going to be for much longer because LVMH is really trying to make Laura Piana more of a inspirational brand and you know they're trying to make Laura Piana handbags happen now people are going crazy for Laura Piana pochette I saw it in person I'm not a fan I didn't buy it but they're really trying to make Laura Piana a very different brand than what it used to be like when I got familiar with a brand it was not very well known there were no logos and it was a very classic and timeless brand with clothes and shoes that you can wear for many years to come and quality was the most important thing to Laura Piana. Now they're a little bit different, they're spending so much money on marketing and things like that so obviously we can see a lot of LVMH there which is not my favorite and I try to not buy LVMH. Obviously I cannot avoid it at times and I still do buy Laura Piana and I buy Remoas but just if you are thinking if you should buy the summer charms I would recommend you buying because first of all the price is going to keep only going up and second of all we might lose a little bit of quality my husband says that it's already happened and I mean half of his closet is Laura Piana the other half is Brunello so just keep that in mind obviously I'm not happy about that but it is what it is anyways great shoe I recommend it as you can see I got it in so many different colors let me know if you have any questions about Laura Piana or about other brands in general I'm more than happy to do a brand review for you if you want me to so leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe for more luxury content